Hello, my name is Nakaya Young, and I would like to share with you my story um, as to how I became to um, pursue a career in geography. Um, in undergraduate school, I was a mass communication major when I was a freshman. Uh, I wanted to become an MTV VJ, and I thought I was going to have this luxurious career where I would be doing all of these exciting interviews with celebrities and stars and things of that nature. But as the semester progressed, I began to take out a lot of student loans and started to see the big picture very quickly of thinking about what did I want my life to look like after undergrad. And, um, I decided to kind of transition and think about something else that I enjoyed, which was um, working with community. At the time, I had only been exposed to the traditional disciplines of becoming a doctor, a lawyer, a teacher. I decided to, to pursue social work. And as a um, social work major, we were required to take geography as an elective. Under the instruction of Dr. David A. Padgett, who was at the geography department at Tennessee State University when I was a student, also would share um, articles that showed lucrative careers in geography and options and, and also the need. And so I began to think like, why not try and do something that helps communities? I already kind of enjoy geography, but I think I just needed someone to kind of push me in the direction and kind of give me a different life. And so the wheels began to turn so after class, um, one day I ended up going to his office and I was transitioning out of my MTV, MTV stage. So I still had my mohawk and I went in there after class one day and I said, Dr. Padgett, do you think you could teach me some more about GIS and maybe ways I could try and get involved? And this time I wasn't really thinking that he was gonna take me seriously, but he, with open arms, volunteered to um, teach me a little bit about GIS. And after maybe about three weeks of going after class, learning about GIS, kind of figuring out ways to work with um, raw data and seeing even more so the use of GIS, he asked me if I was interested in applying for an internship through the Student Conservation Association who was partnering with the uh, Department of Interior. It was then that I was like, I think this is what I want to do. And best of all, as any college student, I was able to make a decent amount of money where I was actually able to pay for my tuition. And my parents were even more excited about that because of the fact that I was able to kind of contribute. And it also says a whole lot that I was 18, 19 years old and here it was. I was needed um, career-wise somewhere in a capacity that I'm sure most 18, 19 year olds pretty much can't really say that they were able to make a decent amount of living, kind of travel a little bit, get exposure to federal jobs. And so I was really excited about it. Yeah, I came back to school that fall and lo and behold, the sociology department was writing a HUD grant and needed to prove um, how incarcerated um, individuals who have been released were in need of employment and could be used to help construct HUD, HUD homes um, in Nashville. Later, I was able to do additional GIS mapping projects when I came back to school. Um, one for a council member, she had an environmental justice issue and I was able to work on that for the year and then um, turns out the University of Maryland that following summer needed students to try and get involved in research projects and I was accepted solely on the fact that I had GIS experience. And what I appreciate most is that I didn't have to work at the mall or do menial jobs in college. I was able to actually do what I was going to school for. Um, by this time I had transitioned into majoring in geography and sociology. So I was able, I was doing everything I was learning about in school and it made a world of difference. I ended up graduating um, from undergrad at the height of the recession. I'm originally from Michigan and so I was not able to find an employment there. But however, because of my geography skills, I was able to find employment within 90 days in Nashville and it was with the Nashville Planning Department where they needed a GIS technician and I was able to come and work and have a salary position to finish my uh, master's degree as well and I had a GIS-based dissertation. 
deciding to pursue my doctor's degree this fall, uh, which I'll be majoring in urban planning and environmental policy, and I'll be focusing a little bit on GIS once again. You know, in some respect, I'm a rarity as well. You know, not many people pursue these careers at a such a young age and have all of the success and all of this, you know, this luck and all of the support, which I'm really, really grateful for. All of the work that I've done and all the projects as, I, as I've gone down the list, none of them have been monotonous. It's been pretty much optional. And what direction I want to take, I'm able to do that. I'm even able to do side GIS consulting projects to make extra money if I'd like, or just to become a part of a great research opportunity because again, I offer a rarity and people don't turn down spatial analysis. There's a need, people can have research out the ballpark but if you can't show and prove and what I like to say um, paint a paint a picture for people they don't get it and so mapping helps people understand that I think everything comes full circle I realized um, the support that I had from outstanding geography professionals that I was able to have a lucrative career and I really want to work with students to kind of help them um, get to the point where I was able to make it you know never being without a job, always having an abundance of opportunities um, at, at all stages of my career. You know, even when I was, you know, you know, kind of moderate or advanced or whatever, I was able to find a career in all aspects of the field. So I encourage anybody to pursue a career in geography because there, there's so much opportunity. There's so much opportunity, there's so much support. Um, and there's so much range.